Good day guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to install 4K VA48 volt type in inverter. The inbuilt charge controller is 150 volts, 60 amps. So the first thing we need to do is to peg the wall. Then after pegging the wall, then we we'll install our inverter. Our inverter is surface mount inverter. Make sure you peg the wall very well, then install it on the wall. So it is surface mount inverter. Make sure you screw the inverter very well to avoid falling down or dropping down. This switchboard contains one surge protector, two pieces of two pole circuit breaker, and one piece of agai breaker. The first two pole circuit breaker is used for AC in, while the second two, two pole circuit breaker is used for inverter outputs. The agai breaker is used for bypassing. We need to loop the neutral part of the surge protector to one pole of the AC in circuit breaker. The second pole of the AC in circuit breaker is meant for life. We will be looping the second pole to the life of the surge protector. After connecting our surge protector to our circuit breaker as shown, the live and neutral of the AC in will go into the Agai breaker. Now, the Agai breaker is having six points, namely one, five. That is where the load will come in. We have four and eight. That is for inverter. And we have two and six. That is for AC in. Now, our AC in will be coming from the circuit breaker of the AC in now it will go into the agai breaker so six is for neutral y2 is for life six is for neutral y2 is for life the function of the agai breaker is for bypassing the main purpose of using this agai breaker is to bypass inverter output to AC in in a situation where the inverter is having issue or the inverter is faulty and you don't want to touch any of the installation all you need to do is just to switch down the high guy breaker it is switch to ac in so ac in will serve the load directly then if you switch it up you, you will switch back to inverter so that's the main essence of using the high guy breaker and this has been the best uh, installation so far when we talk about bypassing ac in to your inverter this has been the best way of doing it. So you don't need to touch anything. All you need to do is just to, to switch on the, the circuit breaker of the agar breaker. Just switch it on and switch it off. That's all you need. And it is very good and very efficient. The next thing we need to do now is to loop the life of the inverter output to 8. Then... The neutral of the inverter output to 4. Once we've achieved this, now the agar breaker will be switching within AC in, which is uh, Nepal in my country, from the grid to inverter. So if there is no, for instance, if the inverter is having force now, it is very easier for you to switch to AC in so AC in will serve your load so this that's the main function of using the agai breaker we are done with the connection of our switch but it entails AC in inverter output and bypass we are done with the connection of the first switch board, which is the AC now the next switch board now is for DC now it entails a DC breaker for battery, a sort protector for solar panel, and a two-pole, a two-pole circuit breaker for breaking solar panel voltage. The battery circuit breaker is used for engaging and disengaging voltage. The sort protector for the solar panel is used to 
stop lightning or thunder from affecting the inverter system. Then the two pole, the two pole, the two pole DC breaker is used for the, for engaging and disengaging a photovoltaic voltage from the solar panel. So we call it PV voltage from the solar panel. So that's the that's the uses the main use. It is time to install our switchboard, both the DC switchboard and the AC switchboard. So we'll be marking uh, the wall with our marker to make it straight. Now it's time to connect the load. Now you connect the load of the house to the high guy breaker as shown in the video. So that's the first step you need to do. The reason why we are connecting our load to the high guy breaker is just for bypassing as I've said earlier. So the high guy breaker is used for bypassing. So, so people always call it bypassing switch, but me, I always call it a guy breaker. That is the function of it. And that is why we are using it there. And that is also why we are using it. The load is coming in through it. After installing the AC switch board and the DC switch board, the next thing to do now is to nail our drunken pipe. So the main reason of using drunken pipe is to bury our cable and it also make our installation needs so we are trying to to cut some part of the jockey pipe so that it will fit in the cables it will make our design very neat and very unique after nailing our jockey pipe as shown in the video the next thing to do now is to connect our ac in circuit breaker to the AC in of the inverter. This is meant for charging the inverter. So the life of the inverter will go into the life of the AC in circuit breaker. At the other side of the inverter, it comprises of six connecting ports. The first two ports is for the AC out, which is which is also known as the inverter output. The second port is for the AC in. That is where we supply the inverter alternating current to charge the inverter. Then the last two ports is for the PV voltage. I mean the voltage coming from the uh, solar panel on the roof. So these are the six ports we have. While making your connection, I will suggest that you use the live and neutral wire as their color code. The live is the red wire while the black is the neutral wire. So uh, I would advise you to use the red wire for life and the black wire for neutral. So if you can see from my video, the life of the input of the inverter, that is the scene, will be connected to the circuit breaker of the scene as shown in the video. After that, the neutral also will be connected in that manner to the AC in circuit breaker as shown in the video and please don't switch the cable if you switch the cable it will burn the inverter so let life go to life and let neutral go to neutral please don't switch the cable and please while installing your inverter make sure you tighten all the screw all the screw so that pressure contacts will not happen the next thing we need to do now is to connect the neutral of our AC in to the AC in of the inverter as shown in the video. These are the parameters of the cable we are using. For the AC in, we are using 2.5 mm pure chem conduit wire. For the inverter output, we are also using 2.5 mm conduit pure chem wire. Then for the solar panels, we are using 60 mm pure cam wire. That, so that solar cable is flexible. It's flexible cable. For the load, we are using 16 mm pure cam cable for the load. And for the earth, we are using 1 mm pure cam cable for the earth. These are the cables we are using for our installation. The next thing to do now 
is to connect our AC in neutral wire from the AC in of the inverter to the AC in circuit breaker as shown in the video. Please, while doing this connection, uh, you must not do any mistake. If there's any mistake in the connection, it may lead to the damage of the inverter and it is not good. So, to avoid that, strictly adhere to the color code. So, let life be red while black is neutral. Please adhere to that color code. We are done connecting our AC in of the inverter to the AC in set breaker on this switchboard. Watch out for part two.